Greetings from Wärtsilä and welcome to our video series we call Wärtsilä Snapshots. Within this video you will have access to insights, hear experts sharing their views on market trends and business opportunities, as well as learn from cases which hopefully give you ideas for planning and developing your own business. Today we discuss fuel efficiency. In the current market situation, it's important to look into the full life cycle of installations and how we plan and operate them. Focusing on fuel efficiency is important in order to decrease operational costs. The choice of fuel matters, but regardless of what fuel is used, knowing the true condition of your equipment of the installation is where to get started. Planning maintenance in a smart way and ensuring the optimal operational profile are building blocks for fuel-efficient engine and propulsion performance. Safety and reliability can also be achieved from upgrades to meet modern standards. Improving fuel efficiency is also a step towards more sustainable business. In the following videos you will hear more. Greetings from the Wärtsilä Services business development team. My name is Juuso Surve and in this video I will share with you the latest updates related to economic outlook in China, the oil price development and technology developments and how those are affecting the shipping and cruise industry. We can start by looking at the economic outlook in China. The GDP growth for the world's largest manufacturing economy and exporter of goods has slowed down. The slowing GDP growth is partly a result of lower demand for products and services produced in China. This has resulted in lower cargo volumes and overcapacity in the merchant fleet. China's economy is expected to shift to a more balanced and sustainable growth path. As the economy in China is still growing steadily, China will definitely be one of the focal points of the future trade routes. The urbanized middle class is expected to have more and more money to spend in the future. This is all good news for the cruise industry. At the moment, cruise lines are benefiting from lower fuel costs and they are expanding their presence within a rapidly growing market in China. Going forward, it is estimated that China will have a significant growth in cruise passengers by 2020. The growth is supported by the Chinese government as they are making substantial investments in cruise-related infrastructure such as ports. Growing economy increases the need for resources like oil. Let's continue by reviewing the oil price development. Since June 2014, crude oil prices have decreased by more than 50% and this has had major implications to the business of many companies. While the forecasts on oil price development vary a lot, all forecasts seem to address the same concerns. Supply from OPEC countries is expected to remain on a high level and the demand does not meet the level of supply. Oil prices are expected to increase only slightly, if at all, in 2016 with a recovery starting in late 2016 or early 2017. As the fuel costs represent a major part of the operational cost of a vessel, the current situation can offer an opportunity to invest in life cycle efficiency, ensuring long-term competitiveness. Then I want to highlight the opportunities offered by the new technologies. Larger and more fuel efficient vessels have entered the market, but with an asset lifespan of 20 to 30 years, it is important to take advantage of the modernization opportunities in order to increase the efficiency of the existing fleet. It is important partly to comply with many of the upcoming environmental requirements, but also to maintain the competitive edge so that companies can always be at the forefront and deliver the best product to end customers, who in turn also increasingly demand sustainability from their vendors. The utilization of data and analytics are providing enormous opportunities to meet these challenges. The use of latest technology solutions will bring substantial savings in operating cost of the fleet, maximizing the uptime and safety, and finding new ways to profitable growth. Looking forward, we believe that by investing in operational efficiency of vessels, companies can overcome current challenges and benefit from gaining a strategic advantage in the market by having better cost competitiveness, a strengthened image in sustainability and better profitability in the long term. Thank you for your attention. 
From market trends we move on and listen to a case of Tirenia, an Italian ferry company. Mr. Leboff from Tirenia will share their objectives on operational performance. E noi nel 2014 abbiamo affrontato il, il problema del costo del carburante e dei costi elevati anche di manutenzione dei motori. Per cui ci siamo rivolti a Varsila per chiedere la progettazione di nuove eliche che siano più consone alla velocità che l'impegno commerciale richiede. Per noi questo investimento è stato molto importante perché ci ha permesso di, di raggiungere gli obiettivi che ci eravamo prefissati come azienda dopo appunto, il nostro insediamento dopo la privatizzazione della Tirrenia. This is a very common challenge that many cruise ferry companies are facing. Typical high-speed ferries are designed for very fast speed. And as a consequence, this means higher operational cost. Our objectives to support the customer wear, to reduce operational cost, to develop more sustainable and environmentally friendly operations, and last but not least, to provide a safe and comfortable experience for the passengers. The project started by us conducting a preliminary study. This study led to a proposal with three different scenarios, each taking into consideration the set objectives. And then the most suitable proposal was chosen by the customer. Based on the selected proposal, Wetzile designed new state-of-the-art high efficiency propeller blades and provided a software upgrade for their control system. The new system configuration was optimized for running the vessel more efficiently at lower speeds by using only one engine per shaft. However, if needed, two engine operation would still be possible in this system. And the results were very clear. Fuel savings of at least 12.5%. 50% reduction of main engine overall cost. 50% reduction of loophole and fluid cost. And last but not least, a reduced environmental impact. No, no, siamo molto soddisfatti del, di tutto quello che è stato fatto e ringraziamo anche Varsile che ci ha aiutato. Uh, in, questa, in questo nostro nuovo progetto perché intanto ci ha fatto centrare eh, gli obiettivi che ci eravamo imposti per la nostra società che era riduzione dei costi del carburante e infatti eh, ogni nave ha una riduzione di almeno del 15% dei costi del carburante e con chiaramente ehm, conseguente diminuzione di impatto ambientale per l'emissione del CO2. Inoltre ha migliorato anche il, diciamo, il comfort delle navi perché prima noi alla velocità di 20-21 nodi, quella commercialmente a noi conveniente, eravamo costretti ad andare con quattro motori perché con due c'erano eccessive vibrazioni. Oggi queste vibrazioni non ci sono più tanto che il livello di vibrazione è tale che le navi sono meritevoli della classe comfort da parte dell'ente di classifica. Pertanto siamo molto soddisfatti di questo lungo impianto propulsivo che abbiamo montato sulle nostre navi. In the beginning you heard new technologies being mentioned as an enabler. Digitalization is fundamentally changing also the way maintenance services are conducted. Data and sophisticated data analysis are becoming a key part in strategies. Thomas Hakala from Wärtsilä gave a keynote speech in the Dreamforce event. He will be outlining in the next video what are the key steps in digital transformation. After Thomas, you will hear about Wärtsilä Genius Services. Wärtsilä Genius Services were designed to optimize vessel operations by, for example, monitoring the equipment of the vessel by ship energy and efficiency analysis, as well as dynamic voyage planning. Shall we say, uh, what is coming next? Of course, it's a lot about agility. I mean, how do we move with our customers? When they change, how do we ensure that we change? 
with, with the, how do we make sure that we can address their needs, whichever they're going to be. Uh, technically, where, where, what shall we say, the next steps? Uh, you saw a little bit, I mean, we, you saw the, 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 uh, uh, the remote connection that we do with engineers. Definitely on the asset performance optimizers, we are looking at building more and more, bringing more and more information uh, <coughs> into it so that we can do better and better predictions in order to address the three things which is very close to the hearts of our customers, which is the efficiency of their installations, mm -hmm. the reliability of them, yeah. and above all, and the safety of them. Digitalization creates value by improving your business performance and creating new opportunities for growth. We think the marine, energy and oil and gas industries, Vartula Services is already monitoring customer systems to provide advisory services that optimize the maintenance and performance of specific systems. Our current offering includes condition monitoring, uh, dynamic maintenance planning, uh, propulsion condition monitoring service, ship energy efficiency management plan and Vartula online services. Looking forward, Vartula is focusing on several specific areas of creating customer value through digitalization, including asset performance optimization services, digital maintenance services and new forms of customer engagement. Vartula's asset performance optimization concepts are designed to optimize anything from an installation's energy efficiency to the management of an entire fleet. This is done by integrating advanced dynamic voyage planning, ship efficiency advisory services and energy analysis and also condition monitoring of the main equipment into one consolidated solution. Focusing on fuel efficiency is a vital element for operational excellence. At Wärtsilä, we are committed to continuously look for new ways on improving life cycle efficiency of installations and therefore improve your business. We thank you for your attention and wish you successful business decisions. See you next time. <laughs>